All right, back here at the Huntington Center, our final score, Cincinnati defeats Toledo by a final count of 5-3 to three in front of a standing room only crowd here at the Huntington Center. Matt Melzak, Jim McCabe uh, standing by just outside the locker room. Uh, Jim, uh, as we take a look at the Huntington Bank highlights of the game one final time from this one, it seemed like those two goals and the way they went in early on Jordan Pierce kind of set the tone for this game. Uh, they really did. It, it took the wind out of the sails. Uh, I think that uh, Toledo came out with some nervous energy, nervous adrenaline at the start, and then once they got the positive energy, they carried the play the rest of the game, I feel. They were dominant the rest of the game. But those first two goals, they could not recover. Too good of a team, uh, well-coached, well-disciplined team in the defensive zone. And there you see that hit again from uh, Cody Lample. That set up Cincinnati on a five-minute power play, and they would capitalize on it uh, to take a 4-1 to one lead at that point. The shorthanded goal from Joey Martin kind of gave this team some life before the end, and they had that late power play where they were buzzing. They get that extra goal. If it's 4-3 going to third, maybe a different game. Yeah, I think so. They had great opportunities there. And then at the start of the third period, Cincinnati went to that defensive shell that they could not crack. So... Uh, it's just, it seemed like it was destined to be tonight. It's one of those games you're just not going to win. Destiny was uh, was against you. And Cincinnati is the team that comes away with it. Andre Nestor showed the late goal there in the last 10 seconds to give us our final count of 5-3 to three as we take a look one more time at our stats tonight. And, Jim, I even asked uh, Dan Watson there just a moment ago, how do you explain the fact that you're a below 500 team when you're out shooting opponents plus 16 tonight in the shot department? That's a big. That's a big margin to to come out, especially at home, to come out behind. But uh, that's the game of hockey. The, the puck bounces. And that's why you play 82 games, and that's why you play seven game series because on any given night, it's pretty unpredictable. For yeah, one. It, it certainly was tonight. Uh, final thought from you, Jim. Do you change anything for your head coach Nick Fatusi going into tomorrow? I think not. I think you 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 just uh, keep the nose to the grindstone and keep the guys playing loosely. And uh, great, great puck possession. I was impressed with Yaud's performance tonight, and I think that they just carry it over, and they will get some Ws. All right, uh, that is going to do it from here at the Huntington Center tonight. Uh, the next home game for the Toledo Walleye is coming up on Saturday, December 29th. That's tomorrow night here at the Huntington Center as Toledo will play host to the Kalamazoo Wings. Get your tickets now at ToledoWalleye.com. Well, for my broadcast partner, Jim McCabe, and our entire crew, my name is Matt Melzack. Once again, your final score, Cincinnati 5 and Toledo 3. Come